Hi friends, it's Miss Tina and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Hi friends. Guys, I'm so glad to see you guys. I'm so glad to see all of you who have been here with me from the very beginning and all of those who have joined the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so that you won't miss an upload. I don't want you to miss anything. I have great stories for you. There are many more stories that you can go back to and see those. There are playlists that you can look at. And I just want you to enjoy reading because I enjoy reading. So guys, I have a great story for you today. And it has the same title as what's on my shirt, Broken Crayon Steel Color. But before we get into the story, there's something we need to do. Do you know what that is? Are you tucked in? You are? Good, because I'm tucked in too. Great, let's get into today's story. Today's story is Broken Crayon Steel Color. Yeah, it's written by Tony Collier and Whitney Beck, and it's illustrated by Natalie Basilica. Broken Crayon Steel Color. Let's get into it. I've wanted to read this book for a while. Avery loved coloring. She didn't have many crayons, but yellow flamingos and green unicorns were more funny anyway. Then one day, she got a new crayon box with tons of colors. Turquoise like the new nursery, violet red like her new shoes, and cadet blue like her new house. And these pictures are beautiful. I want to make sure that you see them. She did a great job with these pictures. Tomorrow, Avery would bring her new crayons and her new backpack to her new school. Suddenly, she felt flippy and fizzy and fluttery inside. When mom called her for dinner, Avery didn't feel like eating. Would you like to say a prayer before your big day, Dad asked? No, Avery whispered. I'm too scared. You can do hard things, Dad squeezed her, even when you're scared. Later, Avery wanted to draw her first day of school outfit but that's not what she drew. Then she tried to draw the school playground, but that's not what she drew either. Avery doodled and dotted and dashed until Crack! The crayon broke in half. Avery grabbed another, but it broke too. Crack! She grabbed another and another, crack, crack. Avery tried to shove the pieces into the box, but that's not what happened. Rip. What have I done, Avery cried. I'm a mess, just like these crayons. When Avery sobbing quieted, she heard a small scuffle. Then a tiny voice said, Avery, girl, it's not nice to put people down, even yourself. Right, Omar? Avery's red crayon was talking and walking. And Omar, the orange crayon, was bouncing. That's right, Ruby. G g g g guys, d d d d don't for forget m me, Beatrice, the blue crayon called. Here. Let me help Beatrice, the purple crayon said. And how about you, Grace? Thanks, Pedro, you're so sweet. Grace, the green crayon, turned to Avery. It sounds like you need help. So now her crayons are talking to her. Before Avery could reply, Omar said, whoa, these drawings are amazing. 
Is tomorrow your first day of school, Grace asked. Avery sniffled and nodded. So why are you crying, girlfriend? Ruby asked. I'm crying because... Avery didn't know how to explain the flippy, fizzy, fluttery feeling. I got messy inside and ruined all of you. Girl, don't you know, Ruby said. We don't have to be perfect to be useful. And no mess is ever too big for God, Pedro added. And we're going to help you have a great year at school, Omar finished. How, Avery asked. First things first, Ruby said, I want you to know it's okay to be upset. You're not a mess because you have messy feelings, but let's keep big feelings from becoming bad actions, Grace said. Grace told Avery to draw two pictures, her favorite flowers and a cake with candles. Then she had Avery pretend to smell the flowers. Breathe in really deep through your nose. Now blow out the candles. So good. Do that again. Let's try that. Let's breathe in deep through our nose like we're smelling flowers. Now blow out the candles. Let's do it again. Breathe in deep through your nose like you're smelling the flowers. Now blow out the candles. Thanks, Grace. I feel calmer, Avery said, but still messy. Let's sort that out next, Pedro said. Sometimes it helps to draw how you feel. I'm feeling creative like a balloon. You can draw an elephant when you're angry and want to stomp things, Ruby said. Or a r r rainy day when you're b b blue, Beatrice said. Avery decided she was feeling anxious, excited, and a little afraid. The next morning on the school bus, Avery wanted to sit next to someone, but that's not what she did. Avery, Pedro popped out of her backpack, life is more fun with friends. But who would want to be my friend, Avery asked. Who wouldn't, Pedro said. You're kind and thoughtful and fun, Oscar said. Draw a picture to remember what a blast you are. Most of all, Pedro added, you are brave. You can do hard things even when you're scared. So she has one picture that says, roar, I am fun. And another one that says, I am brave. Hey, Avery dad said to her all the time. Avery decided she was brave enough to make a new friend, and she knew just how to do it. Her dad always told her that she was brave. All the time. And you are brave, too. And you are fun, too, and you can make friends, right? Yeah. Outside school, Avery walked up to the girl from the bus. Her chest thumped, 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 but she said, Hi, I'm Avery. I drew this for you. Wow. Thanks, the girl replied. I'm Jillian. Avery and Jillian hoped to sit together in class. Again, beautiful, beautiful pictures. But that's not what happened. Avery started to sniffle again. I, I'm sorry you're upset, Avery, Beatrice said. Instead of thinking about sad things, draw the things that make you happy. When you're feeling sad and blue, there are reasons to be grateful too. Avery drew and drew and drew. She's quite the artist too. She draws a lot of pictures. And drawing pictures helps when you're not feeling so good. I like to draw myself. The rest of the week, Avery practiced the crayons lesson. She stopped to smell the flowers and blow the candles. She remembered she was smart and could do hard things. 
She said, thank you for a rainbow, a helping hand, and a box of broken crayons. On Friday, Jillian gave Avery a surprise, a crayon box. Now, Avery felt flippy and fizzy and fluttery inside for a new reason. She was happy. Ruby, Omar, Beatrice, Pedro, and Grace had a new home, and it was as beautiful as they were. So she had a crayon box. She gave her a crayon box. See? It's a plastic one, so that one doesn't tear. Because the boxes sometimes tear. Just like Avery's did. And it has her name on it. It says Avery. After school, Avery showed mom her box and all her drawings. Every time I got messy inside, I used my crayons. And even though they are broken, I made beautiful drawings. Mom smiled. My life has been messy at times too, she said. But I've learned that God can turn our messes into masterpieces. After all, Avery said, broken crayons still color. And then it says here, how do colors make you feel? Do you know that colors can change how you feel? Or that when you're feeling sad, angry, happy, or something else, your feelings can have a color. It's true. This chart shows some of the feelings and colors that go together. Orange is adventurous. We like to do things and get outside and play. Cheerful, excited, hopeful, and silly. Red is brave, sometimes angry, romantic, powerful, and bold. Purple is creative, artistic, spiritual, thoughtful, and sneaky. Blue is sad, safe, calm, quiet, or confident. Green is lucky, healthy, jealous, outdoorsy, or generous. Yellow is happy, curious, giggly, smart, and playful. See, that's what it looks like. That's like a little color wheel there. Broken crayon steel cup. God can still use us, even when we're not perfect, because none of us are. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. And I hope to see you next week. Bye, friends.